tables. Relevant to our time. Yes, you see clearly the situation. President Biden told reporters on Tuesday that the Israeli government cannot continue, continue down this road with duty over all plan. And stress is not inviting, not going to invite Netanyahu no, to the White House. Sleeping. So, let us see now what Nebuchadnezzar saw in his dream. And we saw it is connected clearly to our time, just before Messiah. So, as it is known, what was the dream in the book of Daniel, the second chapter? A great statue with a head of gold, arms and chest of silver, belly and thighs of bronze, legs of iron, heels mingled with iron and clay. And then he saw frightening a great stone not cut by human hands, hmm, fell on the heels of the statue and destroyed it. And the rock became a mountain that filled the whole world. This was a dream. He was frightened about it. He asked his wise, clever people, could not explain. So he called Daniel, this Jewish person and ask him, perhaps you can tell me what is going on, frightening me, such a strange statues, and what is this? So Daniel said to him the following, Daniel interpreted Nebuchadnezzar's dream, explaining that his first dream about a huge statue was about the succession of different empires the Babylon Empire being the gold, the Median Empire, the Persian being silver, the Persian Empire being a bronze, I think the mistake should be the Greeks Empire, so I have to change it in the internet, but it was the Greeks Empire being the bronze, and the Hellenistic Empire being the iron. The clay is Ishmael, as they live normally in desert, mixed with Adam iron, as we saw, iron. So clearly indicated to the hills, to the end of history, that it be some kind of partnership between Adam and the Arabs, Ishmael. And this is exactly what we see today. Adam is a Europe the state, and we see clearly <laughs> the relation with the Palestinians, yeah, no doubt. This is part of the consideration that they will not have this uh, this um, reform because <laughs> definitely Jewish state with the Palestinian state doesn't come together. So, this is what he saw, interpretation of Daniel. Now, what is a stone? What is a stone? So the stone, some commentator said, the Hebrew word heaven, based of two words, Av, father and son. So who is the father that we know about in the Torah? Jacob, the father indicating to Jacob, father, Ab, and who the son, the son of this father of the son in Hebrew is Joseph, yeah, is Joseph. Now what is a big mountain that came out from this stone? The kingdom of God will be revealed. As the verse says in Obadiah, chapter 1, is one chapter 18, the following, in Hebrew is Vaya Bet Yaakov Esh, Bet Yosef Le'Avah, Bet Yosef Le'Kash. 
which is down written, the eyes of Jacob shall be a fire, and the eyes of Joseph, which is the father and the son, a flame, which is played stronger, wider, and the eyes of Isu, stubble, they shall burn them, consume them, and there shall be no survivor for the house of Isu, Adam, for the Lord has spoken. So this is the big mountain, the kingdom of God, which will be revealed, reigned over the world. So this is what the dream of Nebuchadnezzar telling us the history. And in the end of days, so Jacob, Messiah, son of David, and son of Joseph will be revealed and bring us the kingdom of God. Exactly what the prophet said. It's the house of Jacob shall be fire, and the house of Joseph will be a flame, and the house of Israel which is so stubborn. They shall burn. So, so now we are in a situation before this stone came out, I will come out with it to say, yeah. And this is a strong relation between Adam, Biden, and Europe, definitely. And the Arabs, and Obama, no doubt is behind Islam. So let us see tables. Yeah, there are more, but I took the main ones because they have the main points. So let us see the first thing, the situation we see now. The Biden administration has said it opposes any unilateral moves by Israel frightening such a... You know, we are now in the exile of Adam, so Israel have to do what Adam said, no? So, they are not uh, happy with this Israel plan that could hamper effort to negotiate a two-state solution, no? exactly, to the Israeli Palestinian, because the truth is, God said that Israel belongs to Jews, yeah, but if they will keep the Torah, I yeah, hope they will keep the Torah. But this the Torah says, everyone believes in the Old Testament, and God said clearly to Abraham and Isaac, to your descendants, I will give this land. Okay, Abraham. The Arabs can say we are this in a favor, but he said also to Isaac and Jacob. So, this is exactly the root and the thought of this point, why Biden is so much against Europe, European unity. Why? Because then will not be a solution to Israeli-Palestinian conflict, or if it will be, <laughs> uh -huh. including settlements, expansion, and annexation. But we can do if Israel don't keep the Torah. You no, know, don't keep the Torah. Unfortunately, no, they are worried about this. If they will be really keeping the Torah, we say, Mr. Biden, there is a God. And there is the Old Testament, and there is written clearly that the land belongs to us. By the way, is a story which a while ago that the really Jewish people demonstrated against the Egyptian ambassador, shouting, the land belongs to us, it's in the Torah. So came out the Egyptian ambassador to the veranda and said, you, you, what, you, you, the Torah, you speak about the Torah, do you keep the Torah? Do you keep the Shabbos? Do you keep purity of life and all this of the Torah? If you will keep, then we will discuss. But now, if you don't keep, no Shabbos, so you have Lapid and all these people who are against the Torah. Meretz and Lieberman. So please don't mention me what the Torah said. When you will keep the Torah, a long story, and a real story. So, this is unfortunately the situation. So what we have in the table, so in the table we have the following. This I did a long time ago, even before Biden was elected, because immediately I could understand and see that this is what will be with his good friend Obama, because Obama helped him <laughs> to become really what he is. So, and Obama is the Arabs, he is the Islam, no doubt. So it's exactly this connection between Biden and Obama is exactly the start. <laughs> I mean, the, the mixing of clay, Arabs, and iron, 
Europe, stay together. So what you have in this table? Once in the Torah, Biden, disaster. For you, Israel, disaster. You see what is going on now? Oh, in so, such conflict in Israel itself, and so frightening. Yeah? Then, no. Who is a friend of Biden? Twice Obama. Ooh, you see, you have Obama and Green here. Yeah, Obama and Green. You have Obama and Gray. They're not written because it's the same letter, so you can understand, right? So, yeah. Then, what you have more here? You have Amalek. Parallel. Amalek is a nation to want to lick the Jewish blood like a dog, like today, the terrorists, the Arabs. <laughs> Even doctors, they are terrorists who brought the explosion. So, what we can do? This is Amalek. Yeah, Iran want to wipe out Israel. Amalek also, the fighting in Israel itself, mixed multitude, you Arab war, also Amalek. So, terrible fighting, spiritually and physically. Now, unbelievable, very, very significant, I think, is the best meeting of, of the forces, I mean the angel of the Edom, which is called Samkel, and it's written as Samkel, I think it's minimal, and then, okay, you don't have the continuation here, but there is a Lamed here, you can see it. Yeah, the Dilis, which is the angel of Flas, which is the Arabs, yeah? They need a lot of wives. And Samael, which is Edom, Europe, and the state, coming together here, coming together with Biden, and Obama, exactly, this is people who are under the sun and under the list, unbelievable. Then we have in Israel also, the leftists, yeah, are small, you, you are small, are small, also, the lambda down there, yeah. And in fact, another time comes this sickness, corona, because at that time, when I did it, long time ago, so corona was still in the air. By the way, you have here that this uh, disaster is not, not to Israel. Maybe they say it themselves. Yeah, maybe the, the, the Republic is something the Republican. Yeah, I think they understand that uh, still they are not so happy with what Biden did. And they are clever, they know, because, yeah, it depends on Israel a lot. So, let us see, in Hebrew, unbelievable table, really, I think it is really unbelievable. Yeah, we have here the, <laughs> you have the pandemic, yeah, the pandemic here with Corona, at that time it was very popular, no? So, unbelievable, you know, very, very significant because to have minimal Biden, to have Obama, you know, and to have very good meetings of the sound leftists, you know, some, in Hebrew, Samael are like small because the left are under this power. Because in Hebrew, Samael, our rabbis tell us, in Hebrew, it means Samakel. They want to, like blind God. They don't want God to interfere. They want democracy, you know, not the people what they want to do. And God would not tell them what to do, yeah? So this is also the left is the same thing because they, in Hebrew, the letter Samach and Sin are the same. So the left is and Samael, the same thing to do with America. Lilies have to do with uh, last. In fact, three, time, three times a day, Jews, Darwin, those who pray, please God remove for us agony, 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 it is like agony, agony, and sigh, troubles. So, who are those? This is the sum and the lilies. In fact, in the Sardis, you do him, you have on top of this agony and sign those names. So there are, there are such even forces. It's not a story. Now let us see what the Hebrew table tells us. This is frightening. Why? Because once in the Torah, you have so many letters coming together. They're not the same letters. Edom and Ishmael. Exactly what Daniel saw. What the Nebuchadnezzar saw and what Daniel said. Edom, the iron, and Ishmael, the clay, Arabs, unbelievable. Once in the Torah, no, who is behind? Unbelievable. <laughs> the minimum in the Torah is lilies. 
Yeah, leadies comes here, the lefties, small lefties come here, and the Islam, yeah, Islam, in fact, Obama, he's the Islam. He's behind all these things, all this, what uh, Biden doing is the Islam. Obama tells him what to do. So, here you have, unbelievable, you have the Arabs, which is really basically the Islam, right? And you have here Galut, exile, because <laughs> Israel is not independent. They cannot build even in the, in the settlements, because Mr. Biden will not be happy, and even not Obama. So, the Arabs not. So, this is, we are kind of exile, Galut, because it's written that before the Messiah, we'll have exile of the Arabs, Ishmael and Edom, because they are really <laughs> deciding, you know, no independence in Israel, because they must do what Mr. Biden was, yeah? and what uh, the, the Arabs sell Biden, you know. Huh? So Biden is here, you yeah? know. And you have here Arsota Brit, interesting, you have United States and Patak, the PLO. Very interesting because in, signific in the table, if it is fairly significant, so this is exactly what you have. Biden, PLO. Then you have here, as we said, Lilith. We have it, uh, Erevab, mixed multitude, as we said, those are people who are ruling in Israel and they are against Torah, yeah, against the Zohar, so against Torah, against Sabbath. This is what we have, Lib Liberban, Lapid, Meretz, against the Torah. So then we have here, yeah, all this uh, <laughs> situation that we have today is clearly the Torah says. Lot Ishmeu, if you will not listen to me and you will not keep the Torah, we go like the Torah. This, uh, so very interesting, significant table for our time. And as I said, hoping that really <laughs> the situation will change with the coming of the Messiah. And you know, we are now unfortunately <laughs> in a very difficult situation. And this is everything because not keeping the Torah, not believing the Torah, like the Egyptian <laughs> ambassador said to those demonstration will shout in the Torah is written that the Israel belongs to us, yeah? It's written so many things. If you to keep the Shabbat that you have <laughs> to study and to keep to learn to keep mitzvot. You keep it, you keep the Shabbat, you defeat you even and others, all those demonstrators. So let us hope that really as this year is after the sabbatical the year which is destined for Messiah, as the Talmud says, 97th century on the sabbatical wars and fighting. So, but in the end, I mean, after Messiah, speaking like the end of this, where we are now, Messiah. But the Rambam says clearly, any Israel nigalima lebishwa Israel will not be redeemed unless the Dushuva repent, keep the Torah, return to the Torah. And, in fact, this is a Gemara, the Talmud tracted Sanhedrin says, 97a, if Israel not doing him, lost him, Shuvah, I don't Shuvah, Mamid Ale Melech Kasher Kaman, he appoints upon them a very cruel leader like Haman, to the Amanai, yeah, this is not coincidence, because the, the Rabbi Isaac Luya, the Kabbalist, says that the letter Mem Nun, a, are the strongest decrees, have to do with judgment, very heavy judgment. So Aman and Amanai are connected. Then the Gemara says, but if they, it means if they will not do it willingly, will carry on. You know, that's the creation of So there is a leader. He's, he has already under thousands <laughs> missiles around his auto to have the atom. Antonio will not be able to, to stop him with the atom. They will have the atom. But people who have ideal religion, believe in God, <laughs> they, they don't take into consideration what, what, what Biden says and Tanya says and so on. And this is situation, all that you can see, that they almost have the, <laughs> the atom bomb, no? So, let us really realize that we are very, very near to the time of Messiah. All these developments which are happening now are clearly indications that we are very near to the Messiah. So 
Was over the come Pesach is come Pesach is a time of Elijah and Messiah if you follow my YouTube you can see clearly how they came together in a very significant way so interesting and significant table for our time